moment and, and Nico Rosberg sure he's doing a good job but nobody really knows how good he is because the benchmark being Michael Schumacher you know Nico is beating him all the time so we're still unsure of can it's, Nico it's a, become a world it's champion a pretty, pretty good benchmark though if you're beating the most successful guy in the history of the sport I would go with that one yeah oh, I, I'm sure we all would and talking of being successful he's the most successful driver ever here actually Michael has just climbed in the car to our right hand side uh, gearing up for this race and another win might be a little bit difficult for him here today David but what must it be like though for him do you think to be coming to places where you've won time and time again what was it like for you for example going to Monaco where you'd won twice and people were just expecting that you were going to win again well past performance we say it time and time again is no guarantee of future success it doesn't matter what happened last year all that matters is this opportunity this afternoon michael was known as the rain master when he was in his first career and he'll be seeing this as an opportunity i think he did a great job in qualifying he's mm. right there with his uh, his younger teammate separated by you know less than half a tenth yeah. and he'll see this as a great opportunity he started well this year and he knows how to drive in the wet so i wouldn't be surprised if he moves forward okay well there he is the seven time formula one world champion the seven time winner here at the canadian grand prix and he took a slightly slower slightly more leisurely tour around the circuit with our own david coulthard mr dc how are you good thank you good, good to, to see you. you yeah well welcome to montreal a place you know well I'm a little bit concerned by these banners. Have you seen the picture? Now, that is, there is a likeness to you, but it, it looks like your teammate is like a werewolf or something, don't you think? It certainly looks older on that one than me, and that's, uh, that's difficult. Oh, oh God! It's just... <laughs> Kick your feet down! Hey, I don't train anymore. Okay. My God, we're almost off. Can you switch on curse is, somehow? Is this flat out? I think I could... I think I could run faster than this. Actually, hold on, I'm coming in. Right, Michael, we've stopped down here. Apex of turn one. Maybe tell us a little bit about the challenge of this, this area of the track. It's a big challenge to go through here, make positions, and keep all your bits on the car, and not be touched, uh, as, as you know. Because yeah. whatever you take too much here, you then have, a, have an influence over there. Yeah. Because if you go too tight and, and too deep into the corner, the radius you have to take for corner two is uh, is losing time. So we're just here. We are walking out of turn two. This is known as being a traction corner. This weekend in particular, a big challenge because tyres going to be a major. Be careful. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> he, he has a conscience. He's worried about the cameraman. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, actually, would, would you mind if I get to drive a little bit? Yes. Okay. You good. You good co-pilot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with him. <laughs> If I was closer to the pits, I might argue, but we're too far away. Look at him, he's, he's going to Coulthard. He's going to have it out with David Coulthard. Seb, zumindest kannst du einmal hier dieses Wochenende überholen. Das What is? What were you saying? What is? You got to do it in English. We, you know, we're broadcasting to the UK. We're not broadcasting to Germany. So I do the throttle. He's doing the steering. And, and what do you do now? I'm, uh, I'm directing. Okay. Forward, please. Oh! <laughs> ah, the, the, that is fantastic. <laughs> you know, even even the girls sound better when they speak German. So. Oh, is that, it's, it's not very good, my accent? You know, the Scottish goes, you know. <sighs> to be honest, I only learned my, my German from watching DVDs when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I drive? <laughs> no, still not. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Send me these DVDs. <laughs> Turn 10 probably one of the most sort of you know, famous corners on this track in terms of the, the image of the crowd and everything. You can feel it. If you pass somebody, you see them wah, getting up and uh, being excited uh, if you're in the right car and in the right situation. Can I drive the last bit? <laughs> Please. Okay, fine. Hey! <laughs> I get to drive! Bon dia. This, this last chicane, they, they refer to this as the wall of champions or whatever. Have you ever ended up in this wall? I know Jacques uh, I ended there. I, I think I created that name oh, because I was the first one. Then. Oh, Schumacher out of the race! I thought they call it the Wall exactly. of Champions. Yeah, let's try to do right. everything proper. So if, if they're really good lying, you would be here. Well, that's a bit uncomfortable, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And then on the exit, do you have to really be brushing the wall? Is that how it works? or? Um, kind of, yeah. yeah. Kind of. So what, what are you, how, com how close can we get? Uh, you try. I mean, you yeah. see. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, there's a camera. Watch yeah, me don't hit that. Oh my. Oh, I'm not comfortable. Yeah, can I yeah, can yeah, I go yeah, back yeah, on the yeah. circuit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where are we? Let's go for pit stop. Shall we do that? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And amongst the tires and stuff. Yeah. Oh. 
don't don't hit the phone ring. <laughs> we don't have that many. Okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I didn't get quite close. I know. I saw that. So. Anyway, thank you for your time. Thank you. Good luck. See you around. So a big day for Marcus Schumacher, who's making his way out in the round to the grid. As we can see, Nick Heidfeld behind us being pushed back into the garage in his Renault car. What, what will that be for, David? What would you expect is going on there? Well, they've got time.